Hello and welcome to another episode of Historical Churches here on SAR Histories where on the channel today we will be visiting St Mary the Virgin Church, Utoxeter, Staffordshire. St Mary the Virgin was built in the 14th century and may have replaced an earlier church. The Doomsday Book of 1086 makes no mention of a church in Utoxeter, so the earlier church must have been built some time after 1086 but before the 14th century. All that remains of the 14th century church today is the West Tower and Spire. In 1648, the Duke of Hamlington, the commander of the Scottish Engager Army, was taken prisoner at Utoxeter following his defeat at the Battle of Preston. Scottish soldiers were imprisoned at the church for some time during August 1648 and were responsible for considerable damage to the building. By 1828 the church was deemed too small and the nave was rebuilt to the design of architect James Trubshaw. Then in 1877 the present chancel was built. The church was open during my visit but I did not film inside. This was out of respect for the baptism which was taking place, but I will return in the future to take you all in. Inside does have some interesting monuments, like the 16th century chest tomb with a recumbent figure of a lady. There is also a chest tomb to Thomas Kinsley and his wife, dated 1550. St Mary's is a beautiful place, elegant and peaceful. I have my own connections to the church as my grandparents were married here. The graveyard is unlike any other that I have seen as there is almost no standing headstones. All of the headstones have been removed from their graves and now rest flat. The headstones have been laid out in a decorative manner and so that they are easy to find, but this has sadly exposed them to weathering. Also, there are bushes that have overgrown and conceal a few headstones, making it very difficult to read them. If you believe that you have ancestors buried here, you should definitely visit, sooner rather than later, as the headstones are slowly being lost. Also, I would recommend taking something to brush off the moss. But if you don't find your ancestors here, Utoxeter has a cemetery on the opposite side of town. If you have enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time for more historical churches. Until then, goodbye.